My name is Kiantia Shea, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you. All right, this reading right now is not for you, sir. <clears throat> I was going to go ahead and jump right into the Tarot. And I feel like that is still what I'm going to do. Okay. So let us go ahead and get into the reading. Mm, this Palo smells so good. Oh, my God. All right. Let us see. Uh, the deck is upside down, number one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What is really good? Okay, all right, that about settles that. And then we had a card from a different deck. So I feel like that's an omen, all right? Something could be moving really, really slow. Maybe you feel like you're not seeing progress at all when it comes to your Twin Flame Union, but for Four of Wands to come out as the first thing we see in the hang one, I don't know. I feel like this person is pretty stuck on you. You make them happy, they make you happy. It feels like it's a mutual energy. So let us see, what are the messages? <clears throat> The Eight of Swords, all right? So you're thinking about something a lot, all right? There's incoming communication, though, all right? So you can expect, yeah, phone call, text messages, voice notes, okay? Someone wants to speak to you about something, all right? Some of you are not trying to hear it because there's something here about them deceiving you or not being honest. We got the Seven of Swords. Some of you really feel like this person is not being truthful when they send you this message, all right? Or you receive the message and something about it just doesn't seem honest. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like somebody could have started something new. This could be you. This could be your person, all right? But Eight of Cups is emotional withdrawal. So due to this Seven of Swords and you just not fully feeling like you can trust them in this moment you're emotionally withdrawn okay so let us see what's going on not everything is going to resonate with everybody take what messages resonate with you leave the rest if this is not your reading go and check out another reading here on the channel okay <clears throat> yeah we have the world card see a lot of you are in this energy of i'm ready to walk away from this person if they're going to keep doing this then i can't do it right um and so this has this person wanting to come towards you quickly where see they were going slow before now they're coming quickly all right this person does not want to lose you is what it feels like the way that you feel about them they make you happy and you enjoy them and all that they feel that way for you as well then for us to see the sun card in the four of wands is double emphasis on long-term commitment okay <clears throat> marriage so and a successful happy marriage at that so, yeah, we have the emperor. This emperor has you on their mind. Yeah, and you know that. But again, the emperor also knows you're very intuitive. So they know that it's something they were not honest with you about that you are aware of. That two of pentacles, you're weighing the pros and cons of dealing with this person now. You know, queen of pentacles. All right. So if not Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person, you're just someone who's very secure within yourself. And you're not sitting around waiting on this emperor to do something for you. So again, page of pentacles, some of you could have started something new. All right, going back to school, doing something. Because remember, the emperor is not only a divine masculine energy when we're talking in terms of twin flames, <clears throat> but just in terms of tarot, the emperor represents a father figure, a husband, a boss, okay, entrepreneurial energy. So this is someone who you are just not sitting around waiting on anymore, okay? Period. You wait the pros and cons of this situation. You're just going to do it by yourself. Now, something has come to this person's awareness. And with that being said, <clears throat> this makes them feel like they want to hold on to you. What exactly is going on? Because this is a lot. So I can't wait to go around this board and see what these messages are. We have the five of sword. There's people around them that they feel like they cannot trust. They're going through things. And so if they go goals where they get distant, I don't feel like they're doing something they don't have any business doing. Yeah, we, <laughs> we got the King of Wands. All right, the King of Wands is a leader. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? But in general, if not an Aries, okay, Sagittarius or a Leo. <clears throat> Double emphasis on Leo as well because we also saw, excuse me, the Sun card. 
So four of wands, someone definitely wants to be married to you, with you, something. We got the four of cups, okay? Four of cups is rejecting something. You see how here on her sweater says over it, and then she got her phone right next to her. So again, somebody's sending you something, messages of love. With these messages of love coming in, you don't know if you can trust them. You're thinking about this a lot. What you're thinking, weighing the pros and cons of a decision. Ending something or like moving forward with it, okay? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps you're looking for this person to accept accountability for something, like their actions, you know, their faults, their shortcomings, something. You get what I'm saying? It's like, listen, in what way have you not been present in this connection? And if you're not going to acknowledge it, are we just going to beat around the bush? Or are we just going to act like that's not what it is? Then I'm going to have to gain the strength to remove myself from this situation. Because a, a twin flame love is very powerful, very strong, and it's definitely not easy to remove yourself, but you can pray. <laughs> and there's nothing stronger than God, okay? So that's how I feel about that. You know, you can pray for strength, okay? Pray for clarity. Because with this Eight of Swords, someone here, like I said, just has their mind stuck on something. Now, the Eight of Swords does not represent confusion in any way. It's just you overthinking about something. If anything, I feel like you have extreme clarity because you've thought about it so many times. <clears throat> right? So let us see. I want to go around the board one more time. Somebody is observing you. And with observing you, they feel like they want to start something new. All right, so let us see the Eight of Swords, <clears throat> the Empress. So we have the Empress and the Emperor both here together. So if this is not you and your mind thinking, yes, I want to move things forward, but I can't move things forward and have this burning beginning with someone I can't trust. Or if this is them saying, yes, I want to have this burning beginning with my divine feminine, my Empress, you know, however, how am I going to do that if this person doesn't trust me? I know I lied to them in the past or I know something happened in the past, but that's the past. This person could really be in this energy of just wanting to let it go. Okay. Again, I feel it's something about true accountability and just accepting it. It's something like, it's something very direct and very specific that's not going on or that has not happened yet. That if it were to happen, I feel like you would just easily move on, move forward together, but they haven't done this. So let us see. We have the seven of swords. Okay. <clears throat> also double emphasis on Leo because of the strength card, right? I totally forgot about the strength card sitting right next to, oh, it wasn't there at the time. <laughs> anyway, move forward. <laughs> so that's triple emphasis on Leo. Somebody has Leo placements or you yourself are Leo. <clears throat> okay. We have seven of wands, seven of swords. So again, someone wants to stand up and fight for this connection, but if I can't trust you or if you don't trust me, then how are we going to do this? Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. You guys are a match. Empress, Emperor, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Two very attractive, high vibrational people is what I'm getting. All right. So I feel like there's a lot of people that are attracted to you. You get a lot of attention. They get a lot of attention. This may create or have created trust issues on their end or your end. Something along those lines. All right, but with the world card here, yeah, see, because it's like center of attention. And then the queen of wands, very warm, very welcoming, very inviting. She's the feminine energy. So, yeah, she's very receptive and nurturing and loving and all of that stuff, right? So, it's something going on where somebody feels betrayed, <clears throat> somebody feels backstabbed, somebody feels lied to, let down, something. All right, we have the world card. The world, Knight of Pentacles, see? Double emphasis on that. So this is the end of something going slow. Someone is no longer going to be going slow. Page of Cups is reconciliation, apology. Like I said, accepting accountability for where they are wrong, okay? This could also just be them making a love offer saying, hey, let's start a new because pages are brand new at something, if not inexperienced or just young is I don't know what, right? Which is nothing wrong with that. We're all young to somebody. <laughs> um... I mean, those type of energies here where it's like, you know, starting a new to a cups, new, new relationship. Let's just turn the page. Seven of Pentacles. Let's, you know, it's just like if you go somewhere and the land is just dry and everything, you can repair it, but it's going to take time. You're going to have to put a lot of water, a lot of love, a lot of care into it. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of 
nourishment. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups, opening your heart, communicating and expressing um, your emotions. And we have the King of Swords. They're going to tell you what's been on their mind. What's been on their mind is a relationship, a relationship or what's happened over the course of time in the relationship. Because we saw the Knight of Cups and what's behind the Knight of Cups? The Five of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah, so what's happened over time or what's kept us stuck in the past or whatever. Let's go ahead and just dead that and move forward. Okay, so let us see. We got the Emperor, the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. So this is your Emperor sending you energy. Okay. Your Masculine sending you energy. This is them pulling on your energy. Again, a lot of you intuitively know this. She's sitting here with the laptop in her hand or in her lap, excuse me, and it's open. They are sitting here with their laptop and it's kind of like halfway down. So they may not want to let it be known or have you see that they're watching or have you know that they're sending you energy, but you know because you're High Priestess. So they don't have to tell you anything. You feel it. You sense it, especially if your energy has been fluctuating or like <clears throat> you guys know how blue energy is. <laughs> if you sound anything like how it sounded yesterday in them damn video, <laughs> your masculine might be sitting there pulling on your energy. OK, that's you sitting there like, oh, God, like, you know how you sound after a week full of rain. That's why I sound like this. Right. That's how you feel like, oh, boy, because they're pulling on your energy heavy they're thinking about you thinking about this like i said eight of swords and the empress is somebody that cannot get you out of their mind and thinking about this they should have fought more for you you know they should have fought more for this they shouldn't have let you go so easy it's also what i'm getting now yeah see death card now they feel like they have to come up with some sort of plan as to where they can you know win you back and you could still be with this person but when i say win you back i mean when your affections back okay for those of you who aren't with this person, I mean, when you back, okay, take it literally or whatever, okay, it could be physically when you're back, emotionally when you're back, in some way this person feels like they've lost you, you go on ghost to hermit, again, five of swords is people around you, you could be around them, but I feel like this person, they have people around them, and what does that mean, they're still not feeling connected to those people, there's no soul to soul connection, they don't trust those people, those people don't trust them, I don't know who, who this person is hanging out with, but I feel like they're starting to really wise up to the fact that these people cause them to suffer a lot. And, and what I mean is you don't give your power away to other people and say, oh, this is happening because of this person or that happened to me because of such and such what they did. No, it didn't. You are in control of how you respond and how you react to certain things, how you handle situations, how you handle situations and people, etc. So whatever someone else chooses to do, that's on them. But what you choose to do about it, totally on you. Right. And so that's where this judgment card is coming from. I feel like the reason they're suffering in silence, what I mean by that is they will be going through things, right? But when you have someone around you that you can trust or that you can confide in or that you can turn to, you don't have to go through certain things alone. So now in the event that you're experiencing negative feelings and emotions, it doesn't have to turn into suffering. It could just turn into you experiencing negative feelings and emotions that are going to process that are going to pass. You get what I'm saying? So again, I feel like there's no God around them. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles to that Queen of Pentacles. Again, if not earth sign energies, then just very stable, dependable, attractive, emotional, intellectual. <laughs> and I say emotional because we saw the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is very emotional and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. We might be talking about two very sensitive people. That's probably why they're suffering in silence because they don't have other sensitive people around them. You're the most sensitive person they know beside themselves. And so they don't get to speak their truth. Yeah, so we have the three of wands in the very near future. This person is coming towards you to bring these things to your awareness. Star card, they feel guided to do this. All right, they feel guided to come towards you, Miss Independent. You know, let you know, even though you got your own, I want to take care of you. I want to provide for you. I want to make sure that you know that you're not alone. You're not a pentacles, okay? I've observed you and I know that you got you. And I know that you're not in this for the wrong reasons you're not in this for what i could do for you you're in this for me and so that's what this person is realizing you know maybe that seven of swords is what they thought you know it could have been the five of swords the people around them told them like oh don't trust this person don't trust this person you know and now they looking like damn from from me observing i feel like you're actually trustworthy could also be the case here you know their peoples could have been telling them like oh don't trust that person they don't have nothing to offer you. Meanwhile, you showed up as the Queen of Pentacles. 
the empress, the high priestess, the queen of cups, the queen of swords, the queen of wands. Oh, shorty is everything. Shorty has more than enough to offer. More than enough, you know. So it's it's something like that. All right, going on here. So two of wands. Yeah, it was something about a decision. They made a, a crazy one that left them heartbroken, and now they're pulling on your energy. This person cannot seem to get enough of you. The hang one. They're stuck on you. All right, they're stuck on you. That's what I get from that. So let us see. We got the Empress and the Eight of Swords. Soulmate and rise above. Okay. So when your soulmate returns, when this runner returns. Rise above the need or the desire to be petty because it will arise. Okay, think about it. This person left you high and dry listening to the guidance of other people. People that they themselves feel like they can't even be themselves around. So these people don't even know you. And they're going to give you guidance on who you should be dating? That doesn't make any sense. So we have the Empress and the Eight of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want any advice from people I can't even be myself with. Yeah, so someone's like, listen, due to, you know, jealousy, I feel like they're realizing the people around them were jealous. They've never come across divine feminine energy, you know, or something like that. Yeah, masculine is realizing this. They're like, damn, you know, now I'm sitting over here feeling alone and I feel like I can't be myself. They cannot be themselves around these people. These people are not sensitive individuals at all. So masculine always has to wear this mask or always has to be super tough or whatever the hell is going on here. And it's just not cool. Yeah, so we got sacred journey. So now this is what they're understanding. Who they truly are, all right, and discovering themselves again and getting into creative energy again and expressing themselves. They feel really inspired. They're remembering their worth. They have like a boost of confidence going right now. All right, we got the world card, the Knight of Pentacles. As I said, you can expect a message. They have this boost of confidence where they're actually able to speak up on something that they never spoke up on, that they were denying for so long. Something that was repressed. They're going to allow it to come up to the surface and they're actually going to bring it up, you know. So this is going to come as a shock to you, destruction. You know, but they're doing it so that you guys can release the past. Remember I said they really want to see an, a positive outcome here. Okay. We have fifth dimension and fresh start. So they're intuitively communicating these things to you. That I said, pulling on your energy. You feel them. Okay. It says uh, unexpected change, new opportunities that lead to union. Yeah, this person is realizing that the people around them kept them stuck at a crossroads. They're remembering how it happened as in the separation. Because some of them could have been asking themselves, like, how did this even happen? A person that's like that, that matches me like this. How did we not come together? And so as they reminisce and they look at what happened, you know, it says not nah, no, namaste. Psst. It says nostalgia, repetition, attachment. All right. Reliving the past. Let it go. So again, what happened in the past? How did I get to that, that choice? How did I get to that crossroad? Oh yeah. I told the people around me about this situation and they influenced me to ghost the connection because the five of swords and the hermit. All right. Instead of me having followed my intuition, I allow for people to keep me at a crossroad. When what I should have been doing was ascending and marrying my person. You know, it says expansion, evolution, universal intelligence, stay connected to spirit, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond and societal contract. Yeah. So they allow the people around them who they don't trust, who they can't beat themselves around to dictate what or who they're going to be with. What they're going to be doing, who they're going to be with. That's crazy. You can't even be yourself with these people and they, they have that much control over you. <sighs> so hence the King of Wands energy, because in the very near future, they're going to have to step into that leadership position. They're going to have to step into this authoritative role in order to actually see a difference in the relationship. So we have fear, fall, mirroring, spring and release. All right. So one of you could be born in the fall. The other could be born in the spring. Um, something could be really significant about the fall in the spring. Something could have happened. Okay. Really important, um, events. Okay. Somebody could have wanted to come towards you already a long time ago, maybe once in the spring, once in the fall, you get what I'm saying. However, they hesitated for several reasons. One of them being karmic partner. Okay. Let us see. We have. Pause. Yeah, see, hesitation, pause. So, again, that could be one of the things they fib to you about as well. 
you know, they could give you excuses, 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 and they could be really terrible excuses too, you know what I mean, like, you know, it's not no, oh, my dog ate my homework, simple little white lie, it's like really bad excuses, and you're like, wow, that's major to even, wow, you get what I'm saying, so yeah, we have hidden path, it says detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction, so that's what a lot of you are aiming to do go in a new direction you know because you're not at a crossroad you're not confused a lot of you know exactly what you want who you want to be with you know that two of wands energy just indicates this person is still in that i need to straighten up tighten up get this spine of mine in order in order to come towards my feminine and have this union because you feel like home but with you showing up as the nine of pentacles i'm pretty sure you're not going to settle for anybody who's you know, in and out, in and out. Yeah, we have winter. Exactly. It says you feel out in the cold. So what you're going to do is ice them out until they see through their own false beliefs, which is thinking that they can hide behind the pride, the ego, the fear, all that other stuff. Continue to suppress the emotions. If that's the route they choose to go, remember the crossroad, then they're going to continue to feel alone. You know, here's feminine at the sacred space, still talking to and communicating with her twin, still, you know, remaining connected right however it says twin seeking union commune with your own divinity you when you commune with your own divinity aka god you're connected with spirit okay and somebody mentioned in the comments yesterday that they feel like the reason i keep channeling that song three's company is because with twin flames or with marriages right because twin flames are soul marriages but with marriages it's you your spouse god right you your spouse god that's what it is so someone feels like i keep chilling that because of that maybe all right express your love you know they're being guided to express their love to say what it is they need to say get these things off of their chest okay we have flirt but again totally up to them to make that free will choice and then up to you to accept it when they come back this apology so it says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And this is the romance of a lifetime. Underline the energy. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right. Let us see. For our feminines. All right. Thank you, spirit. Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. So they really, really get to be themselves with you. You know this person and what they really want to do and who they really are basically okay embrace what destiny has in store for you i hope you guys are ready because i really feel like with this group union is on the way it's just a matter of like working through the kinks which every relationship has them and apparently this is something real something worth having something worth fighting for so lean in and trust see what it is that spirit has for you all right I really hope you guys enjoyed this message. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hugs.